Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. One of our subscribers has asked me to explain how to remove redundant relationships in Primavera P6 schedule. So today, in this tutorial, I am going to explain this in detail. This is a sample simple schedule with three activities A, B and C. Here activity B's predecessor is A and activity C's predecessor is B and also we have activity A as a predecessor for C which is not exactly required because A is followed by B and B is followed by C which is nothing but activity A is also linked indirectly to activity C. So here activity relationship A to C is a redundant relationship because it is not driving. Now let's see how we can remove this redundant relationship A to C that is finished to start. First let's export this schedule from P6 to Excel spreadsheet. Go to file from the menu bar, click on export. In this export format dialog box, select the spreadsheet XLSX format and click next. In the export type dialog box, select activity relationships and then click next. Here in projects to export dialog box, select the project by ticking the checkbox and then click next. Select the template in this select template dialog box and click on modify and now select the columns like this as shown here in this video. Click OK and click next. Select folder to export like desktop and click next and then click finally finish. Okay, now let's open the Excel sheet which is saved onto our desktop. Here in this sheet, in the column K for the third relationship which is a redundant one type D here to delete the row. If we got more number of activities, we need to enter a general formula to identify all redundant relationships. So in cell K3, I enter a formula as equal to if open the bracket and open the bracket, count if open the bracket A3 to A5, lock these two references A3 and A5, comma A3, close the bracket greater than 1. That is our first condition is counting A3 in this range if it is more than 1, comma second condition is H3 equal to inverted commas EN close the inverted commas and close the bracket. That is we are checking whether it is driving or not. Next comma if it is true put inverted commas and put D in it comma if it is false give a blank that is inverted commas and close the inverted commas which gives a blank result. Now close the bracket. Now press enter to see the result and now drag this formula till the last cell in this particular column. So you can see D in the last cell which is a redundant one. Ok friends, now save this excel file and close it. Now go to your P6 and import this file into your schedule in P6. From here click file and click on import. Select the spreadsheet in import format and click next. Now select file to import. Click open and click next. Here in import type select the activity relationships as import type and click next. In import project options click under import 2 and select the project 
that is redundant project sample project and click next now finally click on this finish button see friends you can observe that the relationship between a and c has been removed here you can as well check in the details tab for the c the predecessor is only the b and with the a has been removed so friends in this way one can remove redundant relationships in primavera p6 but friends remember you should be removing the redundant relationships only if you are sure that someday these relationships doesn't become driving relationship just because they are redundant now doesn't mean that they will not become driving as the project progresses today's non driving relationship may become the critical path in future so i recommend not to remove any redundant relationships from primavera p6 schedule rather than regretting the decision of removing in the later stage okay friends good luck i hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial if yes please do give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe dp tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching